Hello everyone and welcome to Views from the Yale. Now, it's not too long now until the season starts, just over five weeks and pre-season starts tomorrow. And I can tell a lot of Wrexham fans are thinking, where are the Wrexham signings? Because it's not too long before we go away to the American tour. But Parkey has mentioned that he is working on getting these transfers and there have been plenty of names being linked to Wrexham. Obviously, there's been Nick Powell, Max Power, and most recently, Daniel Johnson, formerly of Preston. Though Daniel Johnson apparently might be going to Stoke rather than, rather than to Wrexham. Plenty of these players who are moving from, from championship sides, maybe to Wrexham. But I can understand why Wrexham fans are probably a lot, are a little bit concerned because we are seeing plenty of teams in, in League 2 making signings. I, I'd, I'd probably say, you know, Parkinson has said that he is working hard on getting signings and you know, he's only after three or four signings. Other teams are really are looking at a much bigger rebuild. You know, we've seen Gillingham sign a fair few players, but they had to do a, a lot of work really considering that last January they were looking again relegated and to spend a bit of money to keep themselves up. And if they want to go up again they're gonna spend even more to change themselves from a mid table league two side into a promotion fighting side. While Wrexham we've been preparing almost for a this campaign for almost, you could say, from the start really, you know, getting Mullen, Palmer, Toza on these long two, three year contracts. Even players who've been brought in a bit later, the likes of Owen O'Connell and Ryan Barnett, were given lengthy contracts so that we were prepared for this upcoming campaign. Obviously, Parkinson has said before that we're looking at like a left wing back, a left-sided central defender, a right-sided central midfield, and a centre forward. So, obviously, he's not really going to be looking for you know these five, six signings like other teams are doing because we don't we don't really need to do that. Really, we're quite well prepared. And you know, if we did start the season with this team, I'm pretty sure we would have a good campaign. Not necessarily saying title winning, but I'm sure we would be certainly competing for playoffs which would be perfectly reasonable. I mean, Stockport did that and they still made a fair few signings when, when they went up. So I'm not too concerned. Would I like to get a couple more signings in? Sure, of course. But you know, we don't go to America for another two weeks or so. And then we've also got five weeks until the season starts and chance window doesn't end until the end of August. So they don't really need to rush as such. It's just probably a peace of mind really if we could have those players in. I mean, it could be Nick Powell could be the first player. His, his name is still is still popping up. So that could happen in the next few days because in last season, our first signing was on the 1st of July. So maybe we could get the first sign this weekend. That'd be that'd be quite nice. But you know, let me know what, what you think. How are you thinking about no current players? Would you like Nick Powell to be our first signing? Or what do you think watching these other teams signing lots of other players? Let me know what you think of that, and of course, please subscribe if you're new around here. It'd be great to have you. Thanks for listening. Chat to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.